How to install Redshift on MX Linux. To install Redshift you will need to go to the MX package installer and download two packages. The first package is Redshift, and the other package is GeoClue 2. Since this package install is happening in a VM, I will show whether Redshift works by using the task manager. Let's start by opening one of the package managers. You can install the packages from either the MX package installer, or by using Synaptic package manager. I will use the latter. To install a package from Synaptic, just search for the package and click on the yellow icon on the left hand side, to mark it for installation. Now do the same for GeoClue 2. We can mark multiple packages for installation. To actually install them, you just have to click apply once the packages you want installed are marked. The summary will show the packages you have marked, as well as any dependencies that will be installed with them. Open the to be installed list to see all the dependencies. When you are ready click apply. Once the install is complete, close the synaptic package manager and open the terminal. To run redshift, you just have to type sudo redshift in the terminal and redshift will run continuously until you turn off your machine. You can change certain redshift settings, such as the daytime and nighttime temperature, by using the dash t command after redshift, or you can set your location manually by using the dash l command, and then adding your location in latitude and longitude coordinates. If you want to see the full list of command you can use with redshift, just type in sudo redshift dash dash help in the terminal to see a list of redshift commands. In order for the location to be set manually, GeoClue 2 must be installed. The location and temperature commands will be listed in the video description box below. For the temperature range, please choose a value between 6500 and 3000. In order to run redshift with custom settings. We can create a config file that Redshift can read from to adjust its settings without having to manually input them every time. To do this, in the terminal, type in cd tilde forward slash dot config. That will direct the terminal into the config folder. Now type in sudo touch redshift.conf to create an empty file with the name redshift.conf. Next type in ls to get a list of all files in this directory in order to see if the file we created is now there. If it is, then use either gedit or nano to edit the file. To do this type in sudo nano redshift.conf and press enter. Now copy and paste the config file sample that I have pasted in the description box of this video. This file has every setting command for redshift as well as comments that explain what each line does. Copy and paste this into the redshift.config file we have just created. Make sure you adjust the setting commands to your liking, especially the location and temperature settings. Once the changes have been made, press Ctrl O and then press Enter to save the changes. Once the changes are saved, press Ctrl X to exit the file or just close the terminal. When you now type in redshift in the terminal, redshift will now use the settings that you have placed in the config file that you have just now made. Fast forward a minute later into this video to see the final part.
Once you are done, type in cd in the terminal to return the terminal to the home directory. You can check if Redshift is running with the task manager on VirtualBox. On an actual machine you will notice the blue light from your monitor. Decrease as Redshift activates. Now the only thing left to do is to ensure that Redshift starts up automatically when turning on your machine. To do this for an XFCE distribution, go to the sessions and start up program. Navigate to the application auto start tab and then click on the add button. Type in Redshift for the name, put in whatever description you like. For the command section you will need to find and place the redshift application. To do this, click on the arrow icon next to the command terminal. From there, navigate to etc forward slash user forward slash bean forward slash redshift. In this bin folder you will find most of the programs that you download from the package manager. Once you find the redshift application, click on it and press ok twice. Now check to see if Redshift is now in the list of auto start applications. If it is not, then you have done something wrong and must repeat the steps again. However, if it is, then you are done. Now reboot your system to verify if it works. On VirtualBox use the task manager to see if Redshift is running after the reboot. On an actual machine you can do the same or you will just notice the blue light dimming on your monitor. I will leave a summary of the steps that I have done in this video in the description box below. And have a good day. Oh and don't forget to run Redshift from terminal after creating the auto start command. Otherwise Redshift will not run.